For the first time in history, we're at a very exciting point where computers can learn from the environment around them. Before, you had to explicitly tell a computer what to do, but now you can show it images, for example, and it'll learn just like a human does, just like a toddler does. You show it one example, it learns a little bit. You show it more examples, it gets smarter. <laughs> Clarify lets computers see. So the, for the first time, you can actually just send visual content, just like it comes into your eyeballs, and computers can understand it. So that enables a whole new way of programming to get them to react to the environment around them. And it's structured in a way that is similar to how the brain works, in that it's built in many different layers of processing. And in the case of understanding images, that first layer takes in the pixels of the image, and the last layer might predict the categories of things you care about within the images. In between, it might extract edges and then form those into corners and uh, crosses and circles, then maybe eyeballs and fingers and noses, then a face, and then output person at the end. One of the exciting things we have worked on just recently and launched is what we call custom training. So this is the ability of Clarify's platform to learn exactly what you care about. For example, we talk to customers who have drones that fly up very high on wind turbines and they want to do inspection and this is a very slow process for humans to go up high. Um, they want to inspect the blades of the wind turbines looking for cracks or any defects and that saves a lot of time in this inspection process. I think the next few years for artificial intelligence are going to include a convergence of multiple different technologies. So not just image recognition, not just speech recognition, not just understanding text data. It's going to be all of that together in one system that gets smarter. It's really like capturing your senses. The eyes are being captured by Clarify right now, but who's capturing the ears? How does that play with what we can see in our eyes? And so we're thinking about that from the computer perspective and fusing it all together. Thank <laughs> you.